This uh, plant was built in the fall of 1917 by J.H. Bachelor Company. He was a, a fish broker. And then it was purchased in 1928 by Pacific American Fisheries out of Bellingham. And they uh, kept it for about 40 years. And then in 64, uh, Columbia Wards Fisheries bought the operation. And then later on changed their names to Wards Cove Packing Company. In 2003, Ocean Beauty bought the Altac facility and they've been running it for the last uh, eight, eight, nine seasons. They chose this place, I think the old timers, because they always chose the best there was. And, and this place is definitely in the middle of fish country. Everything we do here, if we don't do it ourselves, we don't get it done. So we have our own water system, we have our own power generating plant. We uh, do all five species of salmon here. We have the king salmon, the pink salmon, the sockeye, the chum or dog, and uh, the silver or coho. And uh, we also do herring and halibut and black cod and gray cod earlier on in the season. We come up here usually around April 1st, April Fool's Day, which is kind of fitting for us. And uh, start salmon in the middle, beginning of June, and go till the middle of September. So we do several million pounds of halibut and, and, and salmon. The bulk of it is, uh, by sheer volume, is the pink salmon. But uh, we, the second quantities are uh, sockeye salmon, red salmon, and that's what we do for uh, for Harris Teeters, the sockeye fillets. Every fish that comes through this plant is uh, run through slush ice, and you'll never see anybody mishandling the fish here or picking up by the tail or, or throwing it. If you do, it'll happen once. We've got an excellent reputation for um, for quality and it takes a long time to build a good reputation. It takes only a few seconds to lose one. So we're very cautious about what we do. But one guy that is a our top grader and he touches and sees every fish that goes through this plant that uh, gives us a real consistent uh, grading. We have other graders also, but he runs, every fish runs past the one person. We do fillets, vacuum pack fillets, pin bone in, pin bone out. We do halibut fletches. We do canned product, a quarter pound. We're a remote location. We're 100 miles from uh, the city of Kodiak. You have to get here by plane or by boat. There's uh, no, no roads that come down here. Alaskan seafood is sustainable because we, we do have large runs. I mean, compared to the lower 48, we still have a lot of uh, area and, and uh, the fish and game, the management, at least in the Kodiak area here that I'm familiar with, does a very good job of uh, managing the resources. I try to make this as homey as possible. I mean, we're here, we work long hours, we work seven days a week, sometimes 100, 110, 20 hours a week. I was in Seattle in a fishing community called Ballard with one of my bosses a few years ago, and we went by an old gentleman's house, and he had about 100 pink flamingos in his yard. And my boss said, I hate those things, and so I, that was an uh, impetus for me to, uh, to start buying them and bring them up here. We have a lot of good things that happen. We have a 4th of July party, and we bring all the local people in and all the fishermen, and everybody gets a day, day off. Uh, usually it's not always on the 4th. It might be yeah, August 4th or something like that. But we have survival suit races, and we have uh, dancing. Native dancers come over and play volleyball and give prizes out. And, We'd, we'd have a parade, but we only have two vehicles here, so it'd be a short parade.